आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल्स द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे In today's episode we remember freedom fighter Durga Bai Deshmukh who was born on the 15th of July 1909 in Rajamundry Andhra Pradesh a public activist for women's emancipation she founded the Andhra Mahila Sabha in 1937 she was also the founder chairperson of the Central Social Welfare Board Seeds of social reform were sown early in Durga Bai's mind and she became conscious of the injustice suffered by women in all strata. Perhaps this was due to the fact that the social reformer Kandukuri Vireshalingam was a close friend of her grandfather. Durga Bai met Mahatma Gandhi when she was just a 12-year-old. She had collected money for the nationalist movement along with a few volunteers and when she came face to face with the Mahatma she gave her gold bangles as well on his request. This was a turning point which further kindled her spirit of selfless service and patriotism. A lawyer by profession, Durga Bai fought against the system of child marriage and dowry and the harassment of widows in the name of customs, although she herself was married at the age of 8. Durga Bai was a persuasive public speaker and was imprisoned during the Salt Satyagraha. She came to understand the pitiable conditions of women criminals and wished to arrange free legal aid for them. This gave the impetus to the Free Legal Aid Center of the Andhra Mahila Sabha in Hyderabad, particularly to help unlettered women of all classes. Durga Bai realized that lack of education impeded women's progress. This impelled her to lay the foundation for adult education programs which were taken up by the government of independent India. A member of the Constituent Assembly, Durga Bai played an active role in drafting and enacting the Hindu Code Bill. Her efforts to elevate the status of women were evident in her involvement with parliamentary bills. In 1952, she was appointed a member of the Planning Commission. In 1953, she became the chairperson of the Central Social Welfare Board. In 1959 the government appointed her chairperson of the National Committee on Education Durga Bai received many accolades including the UNESCO peace award Padma Vibhushan and the Paul G Hoffman award she died on the 9th of May 1981 AIR news salutes this great indian We also remember independence activist Shankar Khude who was born on the 15th of July 1918 in district Sangli Maharashtra Shankar took part in the Quit India movement and was arrested on the 13th of October 1942 for his role in sabotaging the government's communications he was sentenced to 18 months rigorous imprisonment serving his term in the Hindalga Central Jail in district Belgaon Karnataka he died in police custody in December 1942 on account of severe torture we salute the brave son of the soil We also remember nationalist Siddhu Bhiva Pawar who was born on the 15th of July 1902 in district Satara Maharashtra Siddhu Bhiva took part in the Quit India movement in Katav Taluk Satara on 9th September 1942 he joined a demonstration of more than 2000 people under the leadership of Parshuram Gharge singing patriotic songs and shouting nationalist slogans they marched on to hoist the tricolor on the court building the marchers were stopped by police officials and on refusal to disperse they were fired upon siddhu received a serious bullet injury and succumbed in hospital on the 30th of september 1942 air news salutes the great martyr
We also remember Indian National Army member Muhammad Khan, who belonged to the Punjab region. Initially a soldier in the British Indian Army, Khan joined the Indian National Army in Malay in 1942. He served as a soldier in the reinforcement group and fought the British in Burma and was killed at the battlefield on the 15th of July 1944. AIR News salutes the brave son of the soil. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.